Hallo zusammen. Hola. Hola. Oh, Hi, Barry. Como esta? Okay, we're done. Hallo Venus, kannst du dich echt vorstellen? So, I worked as a primary care physician in the Philippines with an experience in clinical research and tuberculosis. So currently I am enrolled at the University of Basel in the PhD in microbiology and will be doing my research on the Swiss TPH tuberculosis research unit. So I've always been intrigued with the uh, European life and European education and culture. Ever since I finished college, I thought of studying here, but I went to medical school first and then uh, I decided to become a doctor instead of going to masters uh, immediately. However, even during the time of my medical school, I would always go to the European higher education fairs to see um, what it would be like to be able to study in Europe. And so after I finished medical school, I was uh, given many choices. Uh, I decided to practice as a physician first. And then I uh, took a master's degree in health professions education during the time of the pandemic. And while I was doing this uh, master's degree, a friend of mine who was already uh, finished his master's in um, Europe, uh, he sent me a link to apply for the SOS. Before the application to SOS, I did apply for another European country in Germany, uh, but that didn't go through, and so um, I wasn't uh, I wasn't very um, prepared at that time, and it wasn't uh, I guess it wasn't the right moment yet. And so I tried again, and now I'm here. Aside from the education that I will be getting at the University of Basel and the cutting-edge research training that I will benefit from at the Swiss Tropical and Public Health Institute, I am very excited to learn about the culture and the life here in Switzerland, especially here in Basel because it looks very beautiful, like a scene from a storybook. So when I got here, it felt very different from the weather, the houses, the way they act, and so from then, I decided that it would be very useful if I understand how they think, how they feel, how they act, because that will also be helpful for me in my future profession. I started with thinking of a topic around the first week of September. So I paced myself in a way that I had to make sure that I would be able to finish my working draft of the research proposal by the end of September. Also as a background, I finished my medical school on 2016. So after that, I wasn't working in university positions anymore. So it was important for me to re-establish my connections with both my bachelor's degree program university and my medical school. In this way, I need to make sure that I evaluate which, which university or which network I will be using for the application process. At the same time, I also had to contact the possible individuals that will become my supervisors for my studies. So to do this, I did a Google search uh, which roughly consisted of, uh, of the keywords tuberculosis, Switzerland, and university. So I chose tuberculosis because I only had two topics in mind and 
aside from tuberculosis, the other one was translational cancer research. So after this search, there were two individuals that came out on the number of, of options that were given by Google. So the first one was Professor Sebastian Ganyu from the University of Basel and the other one is an individual from the University of Zurich. So my, my technique was that I email one first and then if I don't get a reply before, after a week, then I email another one. I was very lucky that after just 24 hours after emailing Professor Ganyu, I received a reply. And that was how we started corresponding and he provided feedback on my research proposal that I eventually submitted to the scholarship application. I guess for me, the, the easiest part of the application process was actually getting a supervisor. The hardest part was actually establishing a connection with Philippine institutions especially if we don't come from the same affiliation as they are or the individuals inside the institution. So once again, I consider myself lucky because my medical school, the UERM, the University of the East Ramon Marcesai, gave me full support and that was more than enough for me to continue my application despite the setbacks that I faced.